To disassemble a Minotaur 5 pager, the first thing you'll need to do is remove the four screws that are in the back of the pager. Once the four screws have been removed, you can remove the back housing. The easiest way to remove the back housing is to crack one side open. You could use some type of a blunt instrument such as a um, screwdriver or something that's not going to mar the surface too badly. You just want to gently pry this open. You don't need to jam it in there very far. Um, you're just trying to crack this seal. Once this seal has been cracked open, you'll be able to remove the back housing. This is the Minuter 5 with the back housing removed. You'll notice there's a couple rubber spacers in here. You'll want to just leave these in place if you're just going to change the back housing and put a new housing on. This center one is not going to fall out, but this one may fall out or it may be stuck to the old back housing. So you'll want to remove it and place it back into the pager. It only goes one way. It's fairly easy to figure out which way it goes, but you'll want to put that back in the pager if you're just going to change the back housing. If you're going to continue to disassemble the pager, then you're going to want to remove this rubber piece or like I said it probably fell out already. Now that you remove the back housing you can remove the front housing. It comes off in a similar manner to the back housing. There is a uh, seal around the edge. Sometimes this seal kind of sticks to the front housing. You'll need to be careful when you remove it uh, that you don't accidentally remove the seal with the front housing. The seal itself is attached to the center housing. The seal is a fairly soft rubber gasket and when you get in here you could probably just use your fingernails. If this is really tough to get off you could get a, a large screwdriver and just gently pry this up. You just want to get it far enough where you can get your finger in, underneath of here and pull the rest of the way out. Once you've removed the front and back housing the pager should look like this. It'll be in three sections. You'll have a front housing with a rubber spacer, a center housing which has all the circuit boards attached, and the back housing. 